everybody. So today I'm here with a video that I am super excited about. It has been quite a while in the making and that is my laundry room transformation. Oh my goodness, my laundry room was giving me grief for <laughs> so long because we do a lot of laundry in here. I feel like I do at least one load every day or every other day. I'm always in and out. And since we spend so much time in the laundry room, since it's such a big part of the household, I really wanted to just bring it up to make it more inviting, make it way more functional, and just to have it be a place where when you walk in, you feel instantly happier, you feel instantly like your mood goes up. I wanted that type of situation. So the laundry room before this renovation was very bare bones, very basic. It really only had a washer and dryer in there and not much else. Nothing really special going on about it. The tile on the floor though, y'all know, this is the same tile that I ripped up in my one of my bathroom transformations that I showed um, a little while back. Same tile for the laundry room was used and I absolutely hate that tile. I wanted it gone so bad. It just gives off such an unattractive hue in the room. It kind of gives the room like this ugly yellowish tint that I really did not like. So the very first order of business in this laundry room was to rip out that tile and replace it with something that was way better. So I went with a hexagon marble tile. I believe this is in three inch and I decided to go with a gray grout because I wanted each shape to pop and to have that contrast and just changing out the floor, just doing that one thing turned my laundry room around. Like I could finally see a light at the end of the tunnel. I could finally get some type of vision for the room. Once I changed that tile, the whole feel of the room just completely got so much better. And with the hexagon shape as well, it made the room look more intricate, look more interesting, rather than having like those just big square tiles. I felt like the hexagon really jazzed it up a little bit. So it was lighter and way more inviting. However, the room still wasn't functional. It still wasn't really working that well for us because we only had one shelf in there and the shelf was kind of high up. We really didn't use the shelf too much other than to place random things on it that we didn't have to use on a regular basis. The things that we used to actually wash our clothes like um, laundry detergent and stuff like that, we would just usually place it right on top of the washer and the dryer which created a cluttered look. It really didn't look nice. It just wasn't very organized at all and I really wanted a way to have all the things we needed in the laundry room to have those accessible but also be able to hide them away. So the next step in transforming this laundry room was to add cabinetry and countertops to really make the space work better for our needs. So what I did was I contacted a home improvement store that installs cabinets and they set me up with an online appointment with one of their design consultants. Before the meeting though, they wanted me to send over measurements of my room, give a brief synopsis on what I was wanting and expecting. So, you know, the design consultant could have that and have something already worked up for the meeting. So I did that. I actually sent him a picture of my actual laundry room and I wrote in the dimensions for everything and I sent him two inspiration pictures for what my vision was for the space just to make sure that he could do what I wanted and nothing would be lost in translation. I made it really succinct but as clear as I could and then once we had our you know online meeting we went over what I wanted what they could do and I knew that I wanted my cabinetry to go all the way to the ceiling. I just feel like they always make a room look a lot more taller and bigger and more spacious. So I definitely wanted that. And initially I wanted, I saw this picture on Pinterest of this laundry room. It was like a mint color on the cabinets. And I just thought that was such a cool, fresh look. And I really, really wanted to kind of replicate that into my laundry room. So I asked about the color options. Unfortunately, they only did white and they do, I believe it's like a dark wood and a medium toned wood. Needless to say, they really didn't offer much in the way of colors for the cabinets which I was kind of disappointed about because I really wanted <laughs> these mint cabinets after I saw that picture I was like set on that but I was like okay if I get white I can just paint over them because I've painted cabinets before I actually painted my kitchen cabinets the dark brown color that they are now I painted those because originally they were like an orangey color weren't very appealing at all so I painted them and they still look great so I was like okay I can do that for the laundry room cabinets 
cabinets it won't be a big deal so I went with the white cabinets and the guy was asking me questions about what type of things I wanted to store in the laundry room what type of functionalities I wanted and so I basically just wanted to optimize that space on that back wall where the washer and dryer are located and just have as much storage space as I could but also to have that countertop space where we could fold laundry place stuff on besides that I also wanted a rack where I could hang stuff up maybe if I wanted to air dry some things or sometimes I like to iron things and just hang them up and have them available so I really wanted a rack but I did need a rack that goes all the way across the wall like we had before we never really used that I only needed a small space so he took all of those things into consideration and he drew up a plan for the laundry room and he sent it over to me I got that I made some comments here and there and we did like two revisions for the plans sent me the finalized version and everything was looking good so I was like okay let's do it they ordered the cabinetry and it took about two months two and a half months for the actual materials to come in once they came in they had an installation guy come to the house and install them it took him about six hours to complete everything after he left and I walked in and saw the finished product I was absolutely like mind blown as to how much of a difference adding those cabinets made to the laundry room I was so excited to finally have places where we could tuck away all of our detergents extra blankets all other type of knickknacks and things that we need and to be able to fold clothes on an actual counter instead of placing it right on top of the washer and dryer like we have been doing I could hide a hamper in that lower cabinet to the left of the washer and dryer where there was previously nothing but empty space the cabinets themselves were sleek they were sturdy the only thing I wasn't too thrilled about was that gap between like the height of the washer and dryer and the height of that taller counter we had to do that though because the washing machine box it was higher than the washer and dryer and they needed to clear that they had to make sure the counter cleared it so they had to raise the counter up a little bit higher than what I would have liked but I made concessions there that was not like a huge deal the cabinets did come with handles but I didn't have the installer place the handles on the cabinets because I wasn't sure what type of handles I wanted to go with and so I didn't want him to drill any holes in the cabinets before I figured out what type of handles I wanted so after that I knew I wanted to have a backsplash in the laundry room because I felt like that back wall was just uh, it wasn't really giving me much mojo it really wasn't wowing me and I felt like a backsplash would just make the space look more cohesive it would just take the laundry room up a notch make it look more thought out and you know kind of give it a more luxurious feeling which is what I was going for so I went to the home improvement store and I decided on this white herringbone tile because I as you guys know I really love herringbone and I thought that this would work well with the space kind of keeping in line with the geometric type of theme because we had the hexagon flooring and the herringbone would just elevate that without competing too much. I got my contractor who was already here working on my bathroom renovation to install the backsplash. He also installed the flooring too. That was the first job that I had him do before doing either of my bathrooms. I had him replace flooring in a couple areas of my house and that was a really good like test run to see how he worked, the professionalism and all that and I really was impressed with that. So so I had him continue to do other projects around my house. So I got him to install the backsplash for the laundry room and I went with a white grout because I wanted the herringbone pattern to be kind of muted. I wanted it to be a nice background. I envisioned it kind of contrasting with the mint green cabinetry, keeping that white, that fresh white and green colors together. But I also didn't want the backsplash to be too much with the color grout that would compete with the flooring and it would just not be good. So I went with white grout and I loved how it turned out. It was simple yet elegant. Now this is where things took a turn. Every time I have done a renovation there's always like something thrown in the way, something unexpected happens and you have to pivot or completely change the plans. So my washing machine completely gave out. It was not working and I initially was going to work around my existing appliances, my existing white washer and I planned around that and I had this whole setup in mind. When my washing machine gave out and I went to go find a replacement that would match my dryer, first of all, I couldn't find an exact match. The one that I found that was the closest, I really didn't like it. And then I stood back and I thought about it and I was like, they looked kind of dated to me, especially when I saw all the other options that were available. And I was like, if I'm already going to
gonna buy a new washer anyway. I might as well get something that I really, really love. I might as well get something that looks sleek, that looks super modern, that will really make this laundry room look so good. Also, this decision wasn't that hard because my washing machine had seen better days. It had started to rust in some places and originally I was like, okay, this is not a good look, but maybe I'll just get some appliance paint and paint over it and try to make it look like new. Like I was really gonna try to work with what I had, but once the washing machine gave out, I was like, you know what? Let me just let this, <laughs> let me just let this whole thing go. And I just went with a completely new look. I got these dark, really sleek, really polished and more upscale looking washer and dryer. But now that I had these new appliances, I realized that my mint green cabinetry, I felt like it definitely wouldn't work. It might be a little much, it might not be cohesive. So I had to rework my plan for the room and how everything was gonna go with these darker appliances, which I actually feel like was a blessing in disguise because I decided on just keeping the cabinets white. I felt like the white cabinets and the dark appliances were enough of a contrast in the laundry room to give it that depth that I really wanted. So I was gonna stick with that. It saved me from having to paint the cabinets, which was a plus. One less thing to be <laughs> scared to screw up. So I took a picture of the laundry room with these new appliances and I did a new mock-up. So I had my new plan, which I was really excited about. Went ahead and ordered a light fixture, which I definitely knew I wanted to change out the light. I knew I definitely wanted a pendant light. And because there were so many angular aspects to this room with the cabinetry, with the herringbone backsplash, with the hexagon tile, I knew I wanted to keep the light fixture circular so I could balance that out. So I found this two-toned globe light, which I thought was really perfect for the space. It had like a matte black coating on one side and then glass on the other. I thought it would be great to tie in with the dark color of the washer and dryer while also bringing in some shine with the gold. And also since it was a pendant, it added a little bit of drama to the room. And it was exactly what the room needed. After that, I had to touch up a few areas on the walls because when the cabinet person came and took off my original shelf, it left behind these white spaces on the wall where it used to be. Luckily, I still had the exact paint that we used to paint this room years and years ago. Now the can was pretty rusty. I was very nervous when I was opening it up, like is this paint even gonna be usable? Thankfully the paint was usable. I just like went around the rust, being that I only needed a tiny, tiny bit to touch up the walls and it worked out. So I was very grateful that the paint was still there because I was racking my mind trying to think back to what color paint we used, what was the um, percentage, what I had thought was wrong <laughs> when I read the label. So yeah, I went ahead and painted over those spots so everything would be even. Next thing to do was to install my new cabinet pulls. So I decided to use two different types of cabinet pulls just to shake things up a little bit and make the room look more interesting. They were both black with gold accents and I had these circular ones which I used on the cabinets to the very left. And then for those really tall cabinets at the top, I used these straight bar handles. I used this little handy gadget for marking the cabinets and figuring out the placement of the handles and I went ahead and installed them. And then after that, all the major things were in, all the appliances, the fixtures, the handles, the light, the tile, all that. The only thing left to do was to add some decor and just to get everything to come together. Found some really nice artwork from Home Goods. They were only $29.99 a piece. So right now I'm about to attempt to put them on the wall myself. I bought this for it so I can hang it just right on the drywall without having to do anything special, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> These instructions aren't the clearest, but <laughs> I think I'll be able to figure it out. Let's hope.
So it says right here on these instructions that all you have to do is pretty much take these things and push them right into the wall with your thumb. That absolutely does not work. <laughs> so hopefully this will help. And then after I added the decor, the room was finished. So, dun, 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 here is the transformation to my dream laundry room. Because I had that white and black theme with the white cabinetry, pretty white backsplash and the dark appliances, I wanted to add some gold, some brown, some neutral natural colors and bring that dimension into the laundry room. So I got these wooden hangers which really pop against the herringbone backsplash and they really contrast nicely with the silver hanging bar. I really like how mixing metals and mixing colors like silver and gold together help a room look a lot more intentional. I brought some natural texture in with this basket which we keep some of our laundry supplies in. I also put a plant in there. I feel like every room could use a plant because they just liven up a space. They really zhuzh it up. The light fixture gives that glam that I like but it's not over the top. Added these large apothecary style jars to hold our supplies in. The cabinet pulls they're minimal but they still pack a huge design punch. My new dark appliances really stand out against all the white cabinetry and the white backsplash. The artwork is simple, it's clean, it's understated. Got this hand woven basket, infuses a little bit of like ethnic tribal type of thing. That shorter countertop is perfect for placing baskets on top of or anything else we need to just put in the laundry room for a short period of time so we don't have to clog up the walkway. It's such a huge, huge, huge transformation. I'm really happy with how everything turned out and how cohesive it looks. It's chic, it's modern, it's not too overstated, it's not cluttered. It definitely works so much better now. We have all our supplies tucked away except for the few things that we have on that top counter. I'm able to iron in there, I'm able to hang stuff up, I'm able to you know quickly put things away in the cabinets. We have a stack of blankets in there, we have extra supplies in there and it's just so much more functional it works so much better now this space now every time I walk in there I get so excited to do laundry it's the best feeling ever I feel like we're more efficient now with our laundry because we actually want to go in there we want to use the space but yeah that is my laundry room transformation you guys let me know what you think about it I'll put the links to as many things as I can that I use in this space down below in the description box yeah that's pretty much it thanks so much for watching and I will catch up with you on my next video. Peace.